Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Matthew chapter 14, verse 10, Ezekiel chapter 5, verse 11, and Lamentations chapter 2, verse 10. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for all you've done. Thank you for your many blessings. Thank you for loving us and causing us to to be your children. Lord God, we give you all the glory, all the praise. We ask you to forgive us for all of our sins. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, you guys, Matthew chapter 14, verse 10. He sent and had John beheaded in the prison. All right. And we know that this is Herod. He is um, having um, John the Baptist executed because he's being called out um, about his affair with his brother's, I think it's his brother's wife. And so um, he has him killed, right? Because of um, the request being made by the wife through the daughter. All right. And so this is a reflection of the tribulation, the persecution of the saints. And so God is seeing that we are in need and and we need to do the right thing right now while there's still time, right? While there's still hope um, for us and being outside of the tribulation. And so this is God's attempt to stop um, us from headed in that direction, right? If we are not accepting the gospel, if you are not accepting, you know, your call that God is put on you, um, as you are not walking with him, walking with Christ, you don't want him to remove your lampstand, right? You don't want him to cause the test to have to come upon you, right? And so we need to accept this love of, of that he shares with us through these scriptures. It says he sent and had John beheaded in the prison. And so um, that is a place of bondage. It was a place of sadness probably for John the Baptist and and for it to end like that when he probably thought the kingdom was going to be set up um was probably a very sad state right to be in but he accepted his fate and so that's what the the people of the tribulation are going to have to do they're going to have to accept that fate of of being beheaded in prison or or being killed in and persecuted unto death all right. And so the second verse um, that the Lord gave me was Ezekiel chapter five, verse 11. Therefore, as I live, declares the Lord, surely because you have defiled my sanctuary and all your detestable things and with all your abominations, therefore, I will withdraw my I will not spare and I will have no pity. And this is just um a reflection of the abomination of desolation that will come to the most holy place um when the in in the new temple right and so um you know it is going to be defiled right by the things of this world it's going to um cause a great falling right of man and so god is is withdrawing from this earth god is presence is withdrawing from the people and it's going to cause a great um stirring that is is going to shake the world right and so you know the the leaving of the presence of god from this earth is is not one of those things that is going to be taken lightly right when the church is taken um it's going to affect the entire world that's why it's considered a test that um is going to engulf the whole world. It says, therefore, as I live, declares the Lord, surely because you have defiled my sanctuary. So bringing something into his sanctuary that is like an idol or um, like in the book of Revelation, um, the the um, 
the statue, the image um, that they bring in. It's it's an abomination unto God. It says, surely because you have defiled my sanctuary and all, with all your detestable things and with your abominations, therefore I will withdraw. My eye will not spare and I will have no pity. And so meaning that the wrath of God is going to be poured out on the earth, right? And so um, there, there is persecution unto death. There is a pouring out of wrath without a spare, right? Um, with no pity. And then this third verse, um, Lamentations chapter two, verse 10, the elders of the daughters of Zion sit on the ground in silence. They have thrown dust on their heads and put on sackcloth. The young women of Jerusalem have bowed their heads to the ground. All right. And so this is just basically a reflection of the low state of those who are um, in Jerusalem, in Zion and in the earth as well, because it, there's a great mourning that is coming to the earth. Right. A loss of the presence of God, as well as a loss of the people of God and and a loss of hope. God wants us to have hope, but we have hope here and now, right? When they get to this point, they'll still have hope in that they can cleanse their garments, but without the pity of God um, because of the pouring out of his wrath is what they're going to um, have to endure, right? Refinement as silver, and so it says the elders of the daughters of Zion sit on the ground in silence. They have thrown dust on their heads and put on sackcloth. The young women of Jerusalem have bowed their heads to the ground. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you for helping us to be spared from this time of wrath that is to come, Lord God. Let many people receive your gospel, receive your word now while there's still hope. We give you glory and honor and praise. We ask you to forgive us for our sins, Lord God. Help us to be under that righteous covering when you come. Help us to look like you and abide in you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, you guys, take care and be blessed.